Hello, beautiful and wonderful people, and welcome back to yet another Ultimate Skyrim Dead is Dead playthrough episode. If you didn't get to check the last one, we completely did Bleak Falls Barrow. Then we did a bandit location, still alive. I did manage to sleep, and we got up to level 7. And I'm probably wondering where the hell I am. Obviously, we're in Riverwood, but where did this house come? The mystery. Well, let me tell you. I spent a fair amount of time, I spent way too much time, rather, using the Atronaut Crossing mod, which is included in Ultimate Skyrim, and you're able to build a house with it. The problem is, I'm broke, and I bought a way too expensive house, where I should have gone cheaper, and I don't even really have that great of stuff in here. I'm going to give you guys a very quick tour of what I actually put in here, because it's pretty much bare bones at this point. I have a downstairs area with just a chest, a fireplace, a beautiful painting of the sunset in, in uh, I think it's Whiterun actually. Some tables, a chair, a bed. I have a place to sleep. That's basically all this is. And a bookcase. So there's much room for improvement. And I'll probably get into that sometime down the line. I mean, my back deck isn't even complete. I just ran out of money. I couldn't even complete this thing. So that's that. The big issue that I'm going to have to face right now is just money, because I've set these limitations upon myself, upon Lord Elroy, how he won't stoop to the level of the peasants who pick the flowers from the ground and, you know, gathering the carcasses from the animals. A lord doesn't do that kind of stuff. Someone made a great comment about enchanting, and I think that going forward I am going to use enchanting as a way to make money. Uh, it's, it's okay for money. It's not great. The issue with that is that it's hard to get your hands on soul gems, and if you don't really have access to soul trap, which is through the conjuration spell tree, then it's kind of a pain. But I'm going to do it. it it's going to be something I'm investing in. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to make the plunge. I'm committing to this. I'm taking this perk to do enchanting. I'm doing it. I've done it. There we go. We can enchant stuff now. The only thing that I really have that I can do anything with is this wooden staff from last episode. And we'll just have to try to make do with the soul gems that we find for now. If anyone has a great way to get soul gems that are filled that isn't super expensive, or for me to fill gems, then let me know. Oh my good fellow. Am I in your way? Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. What's wrong with him? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I like this fellow. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Hmm, doing the dirty work for you. This ought to be amusing. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Well... I'm gonna go deliver this letter. Maybe I can even get, uh... Our new little wood elf as a... Follower. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that, and look about seeing if we can find some bandits to kill. Let's get moving. Hmm. Bandits or Imperials? Hmm, they look like bandits to me. You there, a uh, citizen. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! This area is off limits. You're interfering with the Imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. You're in my lands, I'll have you know. A hundred gold, you say? You can take it from my cold, dead hands. If you insist. Come on, boys. <laughs> Pathetic bandits. Attack my horse, will you? 
Are you all right, Stump? Well, I was heading over here because in one of the videos, someone told me about... Where did my horse go? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Someone told me that I could find a flawless emerald. And we're going to investigate that. And it's very close to Anissa's cabin. And I didn't know this in character, of course. But it's supposed to be down near the river, next to some sort of dead elk or some shit like that. Oh, wait, here it is. That is the coolest thing ever. And someone said that they guessed the elk couldn't digest it properly, and that's why it's there. But I thought that's really neat. And I didn't know that. I've never seen that there before. So, if you guys learn something new, let me know, because I typically don't learn a lot of new stuff about Skyrim. Sometimes. But anyways, I think from here, what I actually want to go do... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a scroll. I have an expert scroll to unlock Anissa's cabin, but I forgot to save just a regular knock scroll. I want to go check out Helgen, because everyone in Riverwood has been talking about Helgen and a dragon, so I think it's Lord Elroy's personal responsibility and duty to just investigate, just to make sure there's not going to be a dragon attacking his city, or town rather, and we'll see what's up. Alright, it appears as though the gate is closed. I think that means there might be bandits. Guess we'll have to find out. So just to give you guys a quick little update, I've been going through Helgen. Nothing really I found too crazy. Just some stuff on a couple of dead bodies. There's really been nobody to fight whatsoever. I did get a good chunk of restore potions, so that was kind of nice. I'm still struggling on the money game, yeah. And I was wanted to start recording here just in case there are spiders. Well, I guess there are. I am losing a lot of frames in this area, though. really sucks. Now I'm kind of worried. I don't know if these guys can like paralyze me. Yes they can. Am I going to be stun locked? No. Yes, I am. All right, this is this is wonderful. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. Uh, shit. This is a poor decision. My frames were doing so well just like five minutes ago. And they just went to crap. I don't know what it is about this area. Like I almost don't even want to record this because it looks so bad. Alright, let's let's try out this wooden staff. Ice probably doesn't do too much against them. Stuck. Take that back. Yeah, I'm sorry for the frame loss, guys. Well, the spiders are dead. I'm gonna cut the recording here because this frame loss is just too annoying but there's only two of them in here and I'm gonna go find another bandit location just because I really oh, I thought the frames went back 
But yeah, I'm gonna go find another bandit location. Something where I can actually make money. Alright. It appears as though we have another bandit location. Ow, oh, shit! Didn't see that. Hmm. I think activating this chest is what proxies bandits. That was sketchy. Hmm. I think more bandits. We must cleanse them. Did I hope I wasn't the only one who heard that. Yep, bandits. Die, bandit scum! <laughs> Alright. Not too shabby. Juicy loot. Oh wait, did they kill this woman? I never knew that. Oh, okay. They kill the apothecary. Then run off. Now, I think that there is actually a bandit location just over yonder. There's like a little house. I'm gonna go check that out. See if I can get in. Okay, coming up to the house. Go away, wolves. Don't make me. <sighs> well, this looks like the perfect time to use... Ooh, God. Blam. I have no idea what is to come in here. I have not done this bandit location in quite a while. Uh, illumin... Illumination. And let's go in. Alright, stump. Huh? It's bandit killing season. Good work, Stump. Your lord is pleased. so hard not to hit stump. Stump! Okay. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Okay. Good boy. Yours, I submit. 
say good night. Wait, what? How do I miss at point blank range? Of course he has spells. Ha! Ah! A soul trap on me. All right. Bandit Sanctuary? Interesting. Sorry, Stump. I wish I could have done better.
She's strong. Ooh, one two combo. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Still more. did it. Let's get the loot. Not bad. Nice. A lot of good stuff here. You just spam click for like an hour. I'm probably overweight. I'm probably going to end up dropping a couple of things. And a nice little chest. I should have been picking these up. I think I can use these to actually help with my enchanting skill. All the enchanted warhammer and all that stuff. Okay, cool. Well, we did Pine Watch, but I'm really bummed out about it. I'm not even happy at all. Honestly, that's it's so demoralizing when I kill followers. I'm going to have to go back and watch that. Just because I, I feel really shitty about killing stump like that. But on to whatever we're gonna do next. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hmm. A letter from a yarl. Somebody help! Who could it be? I'm getting up. Yarl Sidgear. Hmm. We might have to pay him a visit. I am actually going to go back to Riverwood, sell off some stuff, sleep. I think Elroy would kind of have a bit of a moment to himself after Stump has passed. Fuck off, spider. I don't want to fight you right now. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do and just get a level, hopefully after sleeping. We'll see what happens, and then I'll make a decision whatever I want to do after that. Probably go visit Yarosev here or something. Just to give you guys an update, it is a brand new day. I have slept. I've done a couple of remodeling touches to my home. Some stuff on the interior, but 
I also put a bit of gold into completing my back deck. I'm gonna buy a gravestone, they're like a thousand gold, and I'm gonna place it right in somewhere in here. Just a little gravestone so that way we can always remember Stump and we can always be reminded of our failures because I think it's important for not only character progression but also my own progression to be more aware of my allies. But let's take a peek. We got one level. Uh, I'm gonna put some thought into this because it's probably important where I do place this level. I do have two-handed options. I have a block option, but I'll probably end up putting this into something with heavy armor. Probably combat training, to be honest. But that's that. I'm gonna go on a little bandit murder spree now. I think Elroy is upset not only at himself, but the bandits that he led Stump to, where Stump ultimately met his demise at the hands of his own owner. So this should be fun. Well, I'm actually gonna do Red Iron's Retreat. I thought about doing Valheim. I mean, we're only level eight. It's doable, but I figured I could leave that for maybe one of the next locations that I do. Come here. There we go. So the main reason why I'm doing Redoran's Retreat is because it's where Amran's sword is. I think it'd be good for us as a character to establish some sort of following or liking within Whiterun itself before we try to become a Thane there, which makes sense. Right. Oh, by the way, uh, I did stop by Whiterun Stables, and I spent a good chunk of my gold to buy a Nordic saddle for Sir George now. He's no longer Prince George. I changed his name. I kind of like it. It's a, it's a nice-looking saddle. But here we go. Should be souped and stewed up. Oh no, I think my daughter is awake. Oh no, please dog, no, don't make me do- God, it's like reliving it all over again. Oh man. That did not feel good, guys, to be honest. Argonian. Dead Gonian. She has some good arrows, too. Not a good bow, though. Not good enough to take me out. I think there's one more guy. Or not? Okay. Well, that was easy. Oh, Edge of Terror. I almost forgot about this. Strange how it's an Orcish Greatsword, yet it doesn't have the same damage output. I don't really understand why. Plus, if you check out the enchantment that's on it, creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat for 30 seconds. If you're hitting something that's level 5 or less at this point, you know, and you have an Orcish Greatsword. I guess the only thing that would really benefit from this is like fighting low level Draugr. That's the only real use I could see. Because otherwise, you're just going to be one shotting everything. And why would you use an Orcish Greatsword against a Draugr when they have resistance against non silver weapons? Well, I'm just going to check this one chest right over here. And there's a plethora of other bandit locations that I'm going to go do. Oh, that's a good potion. Okay, on to the next one. 
Okay, next location. Well, hang on. Let's see if I can... Ooh! Good God! Man. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good to know. We can kind of take out a regular troll on horseback. I guess we're starting combat. Okay. You know what? I'm fine with doing this on a horse. I'm a lord. I don't have honor. Live by the sword and die by the sword. Anyone else want to taste your lord's justice? I guess not. Right. We're gonna park Sir George right here. Oh, no we're not. We're gonna park him right here. Just in case, if we do have to exit quickly, he will not be killed. And I'll worry about the looting later. I don't want to take up video time with looting. I try not to, at least. you to trigger that, buddy. Hmm. I think Lord Elroy would see Mammoth Tusks as something of a prized item. At least, I don't know really if they would carve them into something in Whiterun. They might. I don't know. I might take those. There, bud. Oh god. Looks like we got a cutthroat skulking around. Fuck. <sighs> yep. 